This is an incredible example from a very close friend of mine, an incredible client, and one of the top wholesalers here in Phoenix, which is an extremely competitive market. What this wholesaler did is found this incredible deal. They could have generated them $100,000 assignment fee on a single deal. Absolutely amazing. Most people would jump right on it, take that $100,000, pay the max tax, which between federal and state income tax is over 40%. But instead, this wholesale decided to use the Diamond Wealth real estate system to eliminate his taxes while retaining the asset and getting generational self-compounding wealth for him and his family. So what I will do is I'll take you quickly behind the scenes and show you the structure from the initial loan to, and what the numbers look like to the refinance and why he chose to give up the, at the end of, the, of this, we can actually decide, was it a good idea to keep it or should he have taken $100,000 and move on to the next deal? which let's see. So the initial loan, the initial purchase price was 135,000. Incredible deal. Again, only wholesalers can do this. This is geared towards wholesalers. For some of my studies, look at the other videos this is more realistic for me. This is more realistic for the actual wholesalers. So this wholesalers realizes what the DCR is, the diamond cost range, what the ARV will be after he fixes it up and does the value add, which is the after repair value. So the initial loan is 235,000. Now think about it. At the end of it, this wholesaler, you're getting paid $99,208 to purchase this incredible deal and you're buying it. So instead of taking that assignment fee of 100,000, you're actually getting paid 100,000. And the best part of this is that this is a loan, non-taxable event. There's no tax on this. So you can use this money, put it back in the house, value add or if it's not enough you can keep it but you're getting paid a hundred thousand dollars to purchase it absolutely incredible as a wholesaler always try to keep the best houses for yourself while wholesaling the rest and keep the lights um, the lights on for your wholesaling operation so 99 208 so let's take a look at what see what the numbers look like and at the end figure out was it a good idea or not he bought it for 135, some closing costs. The initial loan, the initial hard money loan was 235. So 98,208 was the cash back at close. Now he had some holding costs, the interest, uh, which goes back to the hard money lender here. Extremely nice rehab, $75,000. Now, normally I don't go this nice. This whole, when you're the wholesalers, you can go a little more luxurious, a little nicer area, a little nicer finishes. I will try and go lower because I'm trying to maximize number and our system we buy from wholesalers. So when you're the wholesalers, you can do this. Same goes with the appliances, $6,200 for a nice set. I would just buy them one offer up, but this wholesale bought them brand new. To each their own, I prefer you know to minimize, but in this case, why not? And you know miscellaneous insurance utilities and then cash to close on the refi. Now the refi, this $8,900, is when um, he refinanced the 235000 with a more longer-term loan, which is 237. And the new refinance is actually very current. It's 2023, and it's 8.65%, so extremely current steel pencils right now in this environment. Again, but you have to be a wholesaler to find it. So um, total 103887 which gives them an out-of-pocket expense a 5678. Incredible. The 237 is the new loan, which looks like this. Remember, this was the initial loan. The 235 is right there. The you grab, and here's the refi. Very expensive. Points, five grand. I mean, extremely expensive. And here's paying back that 235 right here. Paying it back. And it was in 2023. And 8900 is what he paid. So that's where this number comes from right in here so interest only payment 865 it doesn't make sense to have a principal pay down right now it's we're maximizing the cash flow for the time being if and when the rates drop in a year two or three we can then refinance and go from there but for now we're going to pay the 865 and our total holding costs with tax and insurance 183302 
Rental is three thousand, which gives it a monthly cash flow of one thousand one hundred and sixty-six dollars ninety-eight cents, or over fourteen thousand dollars annually. Incredible, two hundred forty-seven annual cash from cash. The after um, repair value ARV three hundred thousand dollars, which after the, the 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 loan and after what he has into it gives you an equity of 57,321 or 1,009% return on equity day one. He's not going to touch it. It's we, We're into this for the long haul. Never, ever sell your real estate. So it's incredible. And what I did here is a 5.5% prediction of annual appreciation. I believe it's very conservative, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a prediction. It's a, a, a given it 5.5% for Phoenix. Conservative, which means that after year five, this asset could be worth three hundred ninety-two thousand and eighty-eight dollars. And assuming the same loan, without any principal paydown, there could be equity of one hundred and fifty-five thousand and eighty-eight. At which point, you can ten thirty-one exchange. You can pull out the cash. As long as you don't sell it, not to mention that you're making fourteen thousand dollars per year. So if you take what you're making per year times five. You would have made another seventy thousand dollars on top of this, which is just your cash flow. Nothing like it. And as you can see, there is a reason why he gave up a single payment of one hundred thousand dollars, which is just a job. Wholesaling is a job, and the best way to escape that rat race is to buy and hold the asset. And buying and holding the asset with a diamond wealth real estate system is the best way to escape it.